So what is communication? We talk about communication. And Shish, I'm going to give you different topics today because my mind is going to wander <laughs> all over the space of purposeful action. Okay? So what is communication? That's, you ask some people, they will tell you that communication is making a good delivery. It doesn't say anything. You heard that thing. Yeah, he has a good delivery, so it's a great communication. Others will say, very impressive. And then say, what a slick presentation. So are these to you, does it sound like that that's real communication? That's a real presentation of communication? Think about it. Does it sound like, <coughs> that's fluff, huh? Yeah. So what is communication? Remember it's the fifth positive core value in the second principle of purposeful action. Now, for a second, forget everything you learned about purposeful action or heard about it or read about it and think that it's all four principles. If you understand the four principles, you understand everything that we are covering in leadership and in ethics. And you cannot separate leadership from ethics or ethics from action. Commitment. No, no, that is the that is third that is third principle. No, for the second principle you have the positive course communication. Uh, first is you guys got trapped up in four simple things, man. Right? <coughs> you know why? <coughs> because you're thinking too hard. No, no, you can't look at the book. <laughs> I'm not looking at the book. <coughs> four principles. Okay. If you guys know the four principles, then you will learn, have known, understood everything we try to teach in these two graduate level courses. Okay. So think of the boat of the navigator. Right? Remember we talked to a navigator? I'm going to write something on the board here. Here's the navigator. Right? We can have two hands. Okay, no talking on each other, guys. Remember the rule. You speak to everybody. Now, what if I were to do this in class? <laughs> now, what would you what would you say? This is what I hear. So that's not communicating, is it? So don't do that. Communicate with effect, right? Positive core value. That's not good. So now tell me what you were saying to each other. I did purpose. Now why do you tell me that? <laughs> and what is that first principle represented by? The first principle of purposeful action is represented by the boat of the navigator. The boat is in, sim, signifies propagation. What moves through the water is the hull that moves to the water. That's what it implies, right? So action. And for action, we have the framework for purposeful action. Right, Stop. 12 steps, the framework. So the first principle is first principle. Act with purpose. This is the boat. What's the second principle? Can the boat move by itself? Can it balance in the water by itself? Balance with others. <coughs> balance balance your actions. actions. Balance your actions. With ethics. Second principle, right? This is your exam, guys. And you guys online. This is your exam. Something like this, you know, no, we go to close book because you're not, you're not remembering, I'm surprised. Very simple stuff, right? The metaphor is there, it's all you have to remember four things. So I have to purpose. So the second principle is the oars. Right? Oars of the navigator. I'm not very good at sketching. Ad hoc. But you get the idea? That pilot. So the second principle is 
balance or this is the ball in the oars. And what do you say? What do we say? Balance your action, right? Which is your boat. Mm -hmm. How many sentences have you written in the whole semester on the board? Maybe two or three sentences? So something special is happening today, I'm writing on the board. <laughs> I'm usually communicating, which is like communication means, which is the third, which is part of the second principle, means really sharing information in a way that is beneficial, informative to others. You got that, Scott? Sharing information. Now, does that make sense to you? Communication is shared. Providing information. You know, I can give all the great lectures. If I haven't told you anything that benefits you or informs you or I've shared something with you, then it's all been bull, right? Mm -hmm. You've heard a lot of talks like that. That's why communication is important. Now, it has to be tuned into the audience. But remember, I don't want to say that you tell them what they want to hear. That's called pandering. That you could be Pandering means this is what I think they want to hear because I will benefit and I will appeal to their base design. What do you think marketing people do? Mm -hmm. They show you a beautiful girl with a very slazy car move, parked in front of a very expensive mansion. They say, get the Acura, you <laughs> style, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, all the sex symbols, all the flashy symbols, and they show this very nice looking woman, man walking out. He said, get the car that will show you have arrived. That kind of, this is banking. That's not communication. It's a form of communication, but that's what we are talking about. We are talking about purposeful communication. We are talking about communicating, it's sharing, it's giving. So, <coughs> balance. Now, this is the 12 steps. We're going to power today. This is 12, right? <coughs> balance your actions <coughs> with ethics. Right? And to balance, what do we give you? A core value system. Value system, people say, which is positive and negative core values. How many are there? Five and five. Five positive. Five positive, five negative. Five But there are also the opposite of these five. That is minus five positive. That means the integrity, lack of integrity. So that's really 10, isn't it? Yes. And this is minus 5 negative. Mm -hmm. That means lust, you don't have lust. You conquer it. So in a way, you could say it's 10 because these are reflections. So you can use this for 10 or you can use for 20 and 12. That's 32 already. See how many little details, but all captured in four principles. Mm -hmm. If you remember the four principles, everything falls into place. Now you see what I'm showing you, a learning technique. How do you similar? Okay. <coughs> Next. Relate to others. Manage. This is this, right? Sex. Now what else is there? Relate to others. Manage. That's four. Oh. Third. What is Manage this? Manage you. Currents in the water, right? Manage. Manage your levels of desire. Mm -hmm. Manage your desires. Control your desires, but manage them. I don't say control, right? Manage is right. So. The third principle then, this is the second, this is the first, and this is the third. So, action, balance your action, these are the oars, right? The third principle, what is this? This is your reflection. In the current, and you current some people have written in the Vedic sages, as the currents of desire, you know, currents are like thoughts that flow in your mind, <coughs> exciting you. Those are currents. <coughs> Flexion of current. Third principle is manage your desires. <coughs> and how many levels of desires are there? How many levels of desire? Four levels. Four levels, right. Kama and Moksha, right? Mm -hmm. In the Vedic sense. 